you, I mentioned in my interview with Brad this notion of being emergent, um, and particularly in times of complexity like this, it's really important. There's a term called VUCA, which is, stands for volatility, um, under, uncertainty, complexity, and amb ambiguity. And if there was ever a time of VUCA, this is it. And one of the things, the way we deal with these times of VUCA is being emergent. And so I get this question often is, what is being emergent? And in its simplest form, emergence is waiting to see what happens. And in a complex system with too many unpredictable moving parts, um, it's impossible to predict the outcome of anything more than a step or two in the future. Now, Einstein said that what made him seem smarter than everyone else was that he stayed with his problems longer than anyone else. I also think he had an IQ of about 340, but whatever. Now, the problem is we're trained from childhood that whoever comes up with the right answer first is told they're the smartest and they get the reward. And we've all been in a situation where we've either been told or have probably said, don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. We are a solutions-oriented culture. And when we get into a situation where there is no clear solution, it gets really uncomfortable. Now, I sat down with Melissa Nova, who's the founder of Huddle and one of the leading minds in human-centered design, which is a practice that deals with complexity. And we talked about what it means to be emergent. What does it mean to be emergent? And then how did you create a business, really, with that kind of as one of the cornerstones of it mm -hmm. at Huddle? was like emergence mm -hmm. was a big part of it. And so I thought maybe you'd just talk about that a little bit. We can't always have the answer and we can't always think through the appropriate pathway. And sometimes we need to create the conditions for that to present itself. And it is in that encounter with that pathway that I would refer to as emergence in that you create the conditions for those pathways to emerge. And when you, when you think about that in the context of business, it feels really reckless, actually, um, because there's this um, expectation, and quite rightly so, that the people who are the founders or the, the, the directors or the CEO of an organisation, their responsibility is to steward that organisation responsibly. And what responsibility looks like in the way that we understand business is to have a clear strategy and a clear plan and contingency plannings and to have, you know, right now in the, in the time of pandemic to have business continuity strategies acting through a complex situation by its very nature is emergent because mm. you take an action and then the next thing presents itself and then you take the next action and then the next thing presents itself and that, by definition is emergent. Last question, for yeah. people who are interested in, in, in delving into like being emergent, whether they're a leader of an organization or they're an employee, or they're just somebody who's struggling to cope with what's going on now, like what are, what are some of the tips that you could give a person mm -hmm. um, for, just starting to, to put their toe in the water and, and understand what it might feel like and some things that they might want to try doing. Yeah. I think the first place where I would start is to have them start to feel comfortable with the notion that it's okay to not have the answers, that there is limitation to the human capacity to be able to think through really, really complex situations and ambiguous situations. And it's okay to say, you know what? I don't know how this is going to go. And here's the end to create as much certainty for themselves as they possibly can. And what I mean by that is what do I know that I'm going to be doing today? and learn to be comfortable with that amount of certainty. And then you go to bed and you wake up and the sun comes up and then you do the same thing the next day. And in times of volatility and uncertainty and all the VUCA stuff, um, what I'm beginning to understand is that that really is the most powerful practice that will help people in these times because the, putting pressure on yourself to continue to 
show up every day and be strong and, and work the nine to five and have the 16 half hour Zoom slots and do all of that stuff while also navigating um, isolation and lack of human contact and spending a lot of time with your partner and having your kids around all the time and not being able to do the, the normal things that you would do to keep yourself sane is, is not compassionate towards yourself. Mm. And that's, that's where I would say people should start. Now, make sure to check out the full interview with Melissa at beingvirtual.tv or on my YouTube channel. It'll be posted along with all the full interviews from all of our guests this weekend. Now, the emerging technology business is highly complex. New inventions, new use cases, changing consumer expectations and awareness, new competition. There are so many moving parts, it's impossible to predict the outcomes in the best of times. During a global pandemic, the normal course of business planning just needs to go out the window. Now, over the next few weeks, I'll be talking more about how to manage your business and your life in an emergent fashion, something I've been doing for a long time. And next week, we'll be talking to Dave Snowden, who created the Kinefin model of leading in complexity and is probably the most influential voice in the Western world on this subject. 